are. Brock Purdy does it again. The uh, Niners. We won. You're lucky I love you. Demolish Tom Brady and the Bucks, 35 to 7, guys. This was ridiculous. The victory improved the Niners Man, to 9 and 4 this season, two games ahead of the Hawks. In the NFC West, after Seattle lost at home to the Panthers, here's the man of the hour. For me, I just kept telling myself, dude, this thing ain't over with that guy on the other side of the field. You know, I just wanted to keep putting up points on the board, knowing, you know, this dude's made all these crazy comebacks in his career. So I didn't want that to happen in my first game, you know, as a starter. They kicked our ass. It's the reality of this sport. And every time you take the field, you have the opportunity to get your ass kicked or to kick ass. And you know, obviously we're on the wrong end of it today. We just have not played consistently well very often. We haven't played it for four quarters. We played it a little bit uh, at times, uh, not today at all. You know, we just have not played consistently well for for a game. Brock Purdy was the 134th quarterback to face an MVP winning signal caller in his first career start. Not only did Purdy lead his team to victory, but he did so in dominating fashion. His 28-point win was the second largest in any of those games. The only quarterback he trails... Tom Brady in his first start, which came against Peyton Manning. All right, Playmaker, why are you so excited right I, now? Because you know what? It's so funny that we're talking about this because I, when I first saw him last week, I had, I told you, I had a Tom Brady vibes. I don't know. I don't know. I wanted to watch him, but he just had that thing about him mm. when he walked on the Purdy. Court. Purdy did. Yeah. yeah, he had that. So I wanted to see how he performed against Tom Brady. And I, I was just, it was confirmation I was so for you. Right. It, okay. was, it was great. It Good. was great, right. So yeah. how far do you think the Niners can go with Purdy? Because they looked legit last night. They, they, they look, it, it, it's, it's Purdy. It, it's that offensive genius that they have and, and Kyle Shanahan. It's the system, and it, it, it works perfectly. And I, I, I think they can go all the way to the Super Bowl. I went into yesterday saying, well, they can get in the playoffs and, and make a run, but I don't know if they can get all the way there. Oh, hell no. There are some things. What's that? Hell no. We don't want to hear you coming out of your mouth. He can tell me the San Francisco 49ers can get all the way to the Super Bowl. Yeah. We don't want to hear that from you. No, they, they can go to the Super Bowl. We don't want to hear that from you. They, they got no, 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 no. Mean? Stick to the I ain't Cowboys. They don't, 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 don't sit up there. Don't oh, jump wait a minute. off. Wait, stick wait, with, wait, stick wait, with the Cowboys. Wait, wait. Don't, 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 don't you dare So that. I can't say nobody no, else no, can go to the no, Super Bowl? Not in only the Cowboys? Not in the Cowboys? Not in the Cowboys? Not in the Cowboys? We don't want to stop this. Stop this. No, I'm not saying they'll beat the Cowboys. But I, I'm just saying, right now, I'm saying they got they got a talented enough team to get to the Super Bowl. We don't want to hear that from you. The bottom line is you've been talking about the Cowboys and you said you see oh, what they do doing. Man. You understand? <laughs> you see what they're doing. This is their time all the time. No, we don't want to hear any excuses. You don't want to hear you I coming did. back. Uh, you know what? Some, I did tell you. I did tell you. This is to be reckoned with now. I mean, this team ain't no joke. I, I, I was worried. I was worried. No, we don't want to hear none of that. I want you to keep that same energy, not, that same man. intensity. You understand what I'm saying? Keep the same. Keep the same intensity, baby. <laughs> don't sit up there and jump off of it. No, you can say that. Say that for Dan Olaski. Yeah. Don't uh, don't you say that. I want to hear from you. I, I don't understand that. I believe other teams have an ability to get to the Super Bowl. Will they? Do I believe they will? It's the question. Do they? Do they have the talent and the gifts and the? Uh, skill do you think sets? your chances yes. are better than Dallas? No, that's another question. We ain't talk about that. That was not yeah, the question. question. How far can the 49ers go with Brock Purdy? That was the question. Now we we we, we didn't he put has Tom Brady this. vibes. Come on, come on, come on. I do. I like that no, Tom Brady no, no, vibes. No, no, no. Just telling me your quote. I like you saying Brock Brock vibes. Brock Purdy got Tom Brady vibes. Yeah. Got yeah, Tom Brady he, he gave me some of that. Really? So I'm talking about the you confidence that he walked on the field with. That that right. thing that okay, I'm right. gonna show y'all yeah. that I'm not just the last dude got picked. Yeah. That, that, that cockiness, that cocky confidence that you see, that he, I, I like that he had that on the field yesterday. I have more faith in San Francisco with Brock Purdy than I do Dallas. Say that again? I have more faith Whoa. in San Francisco with Brock Purdy than I do Dallas. <laughs> Did you have more faith in San Francisco with, Je with, with, with Jimmy G? I've said that Dallas? for six weeks. Okay. So, I've said uh, for uh, mm -mm. Mm -mm. So that, now, that that was the team now. that could knock off Philly. Uh, yes, they can. Chain, they, Michael. Now, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, well, no, can Brock they go? Played great yesterday. This team can go to the Super Bowl with Brock Purdy, but Debo has to be healthy. Yes. If Debo's not healthy, yeah. that is a massive, massive, yes. massive loss. And he's got to be like eighty plus percent healthy, not just yeah. on the field. Uh, I, I, this, this, this is the best defense in football. Okay, so that, that's a big no part doubt. of this conversation. Is this defense has given up twenty twice this year? One of them was to Patrick Mahomes. The other one was when nine starters didn't play in the game. So, a lot of quarterbacks would have the opportunity in San Francisco to go to the Super Bowl. I think the thing that stands out about Brock Purdy for me is Kyle Shanahan is only a brilliant offensive creative 
guy or offensive creator mm -hmm. when he's allowed to be. That means uh, having a quarterback that's completely capable of handling well, Kittle's lined up as a receiver over there on this play, but the next play he's at the, in the backfield is a tailback, and the next play he's a tight end. Or, you know, one, one play McCaffrey's is a wide receiver, and the next play he's in motion. As a, that, that's not easy for a quarterback to have to handle. And Brock Purdy's ability to handle all that stuff and then go operate after the snap is the reason why, at least in these two weeks, you sit there and go, absolutely. McCaffrey's a problem. Debo's a problem. Kittle's a problem. Ayuk's in his perfect role. This is the best run game design in the NFL yep. with them in Philadelphia. And it was their best game of the season yesterday. Trent Williams is at the top of his game right now. And this defense is <clears throat> phenomenal. So, yes, they can go win the Super Bowl mm -hmm. or get to the Super Bowl with Brock Purdy. Oh. But Debo has to be a healthy version of Debo. All right, you went off script. Let me go off script a little bit. So, you're telling me right now you have more faith in Brock Purdy taking a team to the Super Bowl than you have in Dak Prescott taking a team to the Super Bowl. No, I have oh, more oh, faith. That sounds like what you just said. I have more faith in Brock Purdy taking this team in San Francisco. If, if like This would be my counter to you. If Dak Prescott was on San Francisco, I'd have a very different feeling. I'd be sitting there going, Dak Prescott is is like the, the guy that could take San Francisco to go win a Super Bowl. Right. But I think Dallas How do we has, know that? Wait, where's your evidence? I think Dak's where's a good evidence? player. I think Dak's a good hold player. Hold on, hold on. I didn't say he wasn't a good player. See, this is the problem. This is a problem. So you bring up a legitimate question, which I just brought up, and all of a sudden it's an indictment against Dak Prescott, like somebody's calling him a scrub that he can't no. play. We all know I don't the, have any listen, listen, facts. We, all, we, we all know the brother can play. No, yeah, yeah. We all know he's not a scrub. The same people that's up here like me, critical of the Dallas Cowboys, is the same person that was screaming for, Doc, for Dak Prescott to get his money, okay? Let's be very, very clear about that. We know the brother can play, but when you say stuff like that, it warrants or provokes the question, where's the evidence? Of where's what? Where's the evidence? Of, <laughs> <laughs> Dak Prescott could lead this team to a Super Bowl. When has Dak Prescott no, showed you I don't think in anybody? Dallas. I don't think Dallas no, no, right I'm now. Saying, no, I'm even with San Francisco. Where's your evidence? Where's your evidence? The fact of the matter is we haven't seen that yet. We're waiting to see that. We're asking Tucker, where Brock Tucker, Tucker, where's Brock Purdy's Brock evidence. Purdy. Where's Brock Purdy's evidence? Excuse me. Excuse me. What I'm able to, hold on, wait a minute. What I'm able to look at with Brock Purdy is based on the evidence of the team he has around him. In the case of a Dak Prescott, my point is I'm able to look at what you have done because you had ample time to do it. You see the difference? The evidence has been there because there's a preponderance of evidence based on what you've had available to you as to what you can and cannot do. We don't know what the hell Brock Brady could do. I'll tell you right now, Tom Brady was right to start up the press conference the way he did. They got their asses kicked. They got stomped, all right? The best part about yesterday's game was watching Brock Purdy's family and his father cry. It was a beautiful, beautiful moment to see this man so emotional because yeah. his, his kid is out there yeah. and his first start it falling out. It was very Mr. touching. Irrelevant. It, was, it was very, very nice. I mean, it's, it's a serious, beautiful, sentimental story. The bottom line is this. There was no game that took place yesterday. Tampa Bay got stomped. Tampa Bay got stomped because of the collective parts around Brock Purdy. In the case of a Dak Prescott, you'll be asking him, to stand up and get it done. Right. That's what Dallas did yesterday, and he was able to close the deal yesterday after having a sub all game. I don't think Dak is playing good football. He's right not. Now. But, but what I don't want to do is take credit away from Brock Purdy because I know he has great defense around him, but that was a pretty good defense he was playing against, He's too. very good. And he played very well. Yeah. well I'm the, just blown away with all of a sudden. Y'all got enough evidence from Brock Purdy, but no. you hadn't seen no. enough evidence from Dak Prescott, well, who over the last five games – I had 38 points game, I, but you've seen enough first evidence first of all, from Brock first of all, Purdy already. First, first I'm of all, just saying y'all got to check y'all emotions. Let's go, back to, let's go back to Tampa Bay for a second. First of all, coming into the game, that's fine. But from opening tip-off, that wasn't the Tampa Bay defense we've been watching. They were getting smacked around. Y'all saw this. Yeah. They were getting shellacked. They, were, they didn't show up yesterday. They didn't show up yesterday I, I for the better that. part of the game. So that's number one. <laughs> number two, the reason why we can sit up there and say what we haven't seen is because unlike Brock Purdy, Dak Prescott has had ample opportunities to take the, the Dallas Cowboys someplace. He hasn't even taken them to an NFC Championship game. That's all I'm saying. That's the reality of the situation. What do you got? No, I'm just thinking with Debo. And not, obviously, not, 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 well, is Aaron Rodgers like going to the Super Bowl? Minutes. No, but he's won a numerous like NFC like championship yeah, game. He's, he's going to five game, NFC but, championship but, but, games. I mean, we, Dak Prescott I, I, ain't been to one. I, 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 he ain't I, been to one. all the time in my ear saying, you a champion. So I know it was about going to championship games. I mean, I thought it was about getting the Super Bowl. I thought that would matter to a champion. Yeah, it does matter. Don't tell him about the NFC championship. He ain't never been there. I don't want to see somebody say, Michael, put those – 
AFC championship ring by your Super Bowl. Put that could AFC championship. There? I'm going to kick, 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 kick it off the because table. I'm going to kick it off the table. Because you're a champion. That, that, because you're a so champion. Where, so I'm what does Aaron it say to you? Aaron so Rodgers ain't got no more rings. So what does it say to you? He got one ring in all these years. What does it say to you you got a bunch of people wearing those uniforms and they ain't never even been to a college championship come on, man. What does that say to you about the team? stop this, man. Can I ask you a question, honestly? Come on, man. I just ask you a question, honestly. What's that? Where do you think, just as we sit right now, Dallas ranks in the NFC? As far as Third. teams... I'm not taking Dallas. He thinks Dallas second. is still one of the top three teams in yes, what? See? Top three you. teams in the NFC. I, I ain't say third. I said top three. Yeah. My mouth said it the way yeah. I wanted to say it. You think they're right. second. They're you think it's top, Philly, the yeah, Dallas. I know what you're saying. And thinking. I will give Philly the run yeah. right now because we got to go in the NFC. You think they're playing better football saw, than Detroit? Just that we just saw. You think they're playing better football than Detroit? You think I'm take Detroit? You think I'm take Detroit over Dallas? Well, Detroit Absolutely won five and six. Absolutely. Let me tell you, the only issue I had yesterday, I, they, they won that game, is that we didn't get any sacks. Okay. Detroit